Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for Tuesday, the 12th of November. All right, now just having a quick look at the, uh, the markets now. What usually happens, especially with the US holiday on Mondays, is we start to lose the momentum in the market from last week. So if you're just looking at the analysis, the only thing that looks uh, on the overview that looks different is dollar Swiss, which is sort of now broken back down into the range. But what has changed is the strength of the, the trends, right? We're losing um, some of the short term uh, movements. Now, if I just scroll down to the trend analysis, you can get a better idea of, of where things are changing. So you've got um, a dollar yen just losing its hourly sort of drive higher, as has dollar Swiss. And uh, Euro is still sort of hanging in there at the moment, but it looks like we might see a bit of a correction back towards 111. And the other pairs at the bottom here, Sterling, Aussie and Kiwi, really losing that extra momentum we, we have, right? So that, that, those downtrends are very weak at this stage. Now, but let's give you a look at the uh, charts. You'll see what I'm talking about. The, um, looking at the Aussie, now it's broken down through that support around 68.70, now just drifting sideways. Uh, it's, I don't expect a hell of a lot to happen through that. The, now, Kiwi as well, in that short-term downtrend, it's just sort of popped through that. A few little weak stops taken out. So I expect it to trade sideways, but we do have, um, I think, some RBNZ. No, RBNZ's tomorrow. So it probably won't do a lot. We may see it squeeze a little bit higher, if anything. Dolly N just trading sideways. So it's lost the upside momentum and now sort of drifting sideways. Here's Euro, which once again has a nice sort of shape to the downside. But see how it's, there's a fair bit of pressure on this 110.40 resistance level. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little clean out to the top side as we await Wednesday's US CPI data. And Sterling already sort of squeezed higher on a bit of uh, positive Brexit news. Hard to work out if that news is positive or negative these days, but it's just squeezed higher. And uh, dollar CAD after breaking higher is now trading sideways and consolidating around 132.30. All right, so what does that do for us? Now, if you come back to... Um, the MyFX Trading Hub, really having a, a, a closer look at the focus of, uh, at the, when we get that pen up, um, focus on the momentum sort of potential opportunities. Now, we've got some lower tier, like first tier sort of NAB business confidence numbers in the Aussie. Uh, you also have the RBNZ inflation expectations, right? Which is a little bit uh, odd that that's coming out the day before the RBNZ interest rate decision. So just keep an eye on that. That could sort of move things around. And UK employment numbers uh, due to come out as well as as well as the German zoo economic sentiment numbers. So a few things to look at in Europe, but with that uh, US Canadian holiday, you really do have the markets behaving like it's you know just the start of Monday, right? And that's where that momentum is really sort of diminishing. It's just primarily because the bigger markets haven't been open. And we haven't had any sort of major data through to give it a bit of a refresh. So that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for um, pretty much, you know, the European North American session to open up and we'll see, uh, see what's, how they interpret what's been going on. Now, the major focus, of course, will be Wednesday's US CPI number. So we might see a bit, bit of these currencies drifting sideways before then with the really high impacting sort of uh, release the RBNZ, which is also Wednesday. So a bit of time to wait before that uh, critical data comes out. All right, guys, that's it for me. Have a good trade day. Cheerio.